touchdowns. His backfield partner, Kareem Hunt, added another two touchdowns, one rushing, one receiving, and a late connection between Joe Burrow and Tyler Boyd pulled the Bengals within five, but a failed onside kick confirmed the result. Browns win 35-30. to Kansas City health officials reported a fan who attended the Chiefs game at Arrowhead Stadium tested positive for COVID-19. The Chiefs confirmed Thursday that the club has worked to provide relevant information, including contact tracing to know any and all patrons and workers with which the individual might have interacted. Staying in the AFC West, the Chargers announced Thursday that center Mike Pouncey will undergo hip surgery and will miss the remainder of the season. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Texting enrolls you into recurring automated text messages. Message and data rates may apply. Nine, ten. Honey, you have really been making the most of being at home. I haven't seen you work out this hard in years. I feel great. And honestly, taking Nugenics makes a huge difference for me. Nugenics. That's the testosterone booster that has the TV ads with Frank the Big Hurt Thomas, right? Yeah, this is an amazing product. The patented ingredient is Testafit, which helps boost free testosterone levels and increase lean muscle mass. Nugenics is a great way to boost lean muscle and feel stronger with more energy and endurance. Well, you are looking good and have been quite the tiger lately, too. <laughs> Nugenics is definitely working for you and for me. Yeah, and all I had to do was send them a text to get my complimentary bottle. Text TIP to 42424 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics, the number one selling free testosterone booster at GNC. Nugenics samples are not available in stores, so text TIP to 42424 right now. Text TIP to 42424. That's TIP to 42424. Or just listen to KXO, El Centro, California, live and local for the Imperial Valley. Happy New Year, Gene. Yeah, early. No, no, no. Oh, Rosh Well, Shana. actually, Rosh Hashanah begins yeah. at sundown. Sundown tonight. Yes. So, Happy New Year. Putting, uh, what did they say this morning? Putting uh, sugar on apples. Apples and honey. For us, uh, apples and honey for a yes. sweet New Year. Yeah, I was fortunate in um, you know the first nine years of my life. I lived in Reading, Pennsylvania, and our neighborhood was uh, very, very uh, mixed ethnic. And our next door neighbor were Orthodox Jews, and uh, our family Irish Catholic, and we shared holidays. So, I mean, it was a great way to grow up. And so, did you grow up? I mean, I did didn't you grow make up Orthodox, goal? no. No. Okay. No. And there are those that will tell you I probably never grew up. Well, that's what I was asking. Yes. I was, you know, no, I wasn't asking that you grew up uh, Jewish, but uh, did but you grow up? But when you are exposed to all different, uh, well, ethnicities and uh, religions and customs, it... Um, you know, kind of gives you a good idea you on... A uh, wide perspective. Yes. Speaking of which, okay, you've met uh, Louie, our guide dogs of the desert standard yeah. poodle puppy yeah. that we're raising, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Louie is all black, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, yesterday, Pam went to uh, Palm Springs, guide dogs of the desert in Palm Springs, for some updated training with Louie, and uh, Louie met his brother, for the first time in about uh, five months. Mm. Okay. Uh, his brother is all white. Louis is all black. Mm -hmm. Out of the same litter. Yes, sir. Yes. It's kind okay. Of like uh, sheep. Yes. You'll have so many that are white, and then you'll have uh, some that are black, and all uh, part of creation. Okay. Uh, well, it's like uh, we learned with Labrador Retrievers. You can get yellows, browns, and uh, chocolates, or black uh, labs, out of the same litter. Yep. Yeah, yeah. you can. Some are, you know, more uh, rare than others. Yes. But, but you don't want a spotted Labrador Retriever. No. There's no. something uh, something awry there. Yes. If that's the case. The chocolates, I understand, are the most, uh, of the three colors, the rare. They are, and uh, and temperamentally, there's no difference. No. You know, I want a chocolate lab because they're so mellow. No, <laughs> not really. <sighs> okay, are you ready for birthdays? We better get ready because we're going to have them. We are. Now, do you remember Jimmy Rogers? I do. Yeah, what, Honeycomb? 
Honeycomb. Yeah. Yeah, he's 87 years old today. Bim Bombay. Yeah. Yes. Bim Bombay. Yeah, okay, actor Robert Blake, 87. Singer, actor Frankie Avalon is 80. Actor Beth Grant is 71. Carrie Liv uh, Livgren, he plays guitar for Kansas, 71. Actor Anna DeVere Smith, 70. Actor Holly Robinson Pete is 56. And let's see, actor Jada Pinkett Smith, 49. Actor James Marsden, 47. Actor Emily Rutherford is 46. Actor Travis Schultz is 46. Comedian Jason Sudeikis, 45. Actor Sophina Brown, 44. Actor Barrett Foa is 43. And let's see. Actor, comedian Billy Eichner is 42. Actors Taylor and Brandon Porter are 27. Actor Patrick Schwarzenegger is 27. Okay. Mm hmm Local birthdays coming up. Residents of Acatillo, be counted. The LGBT Resource Center and the County of Imperial invite you to join our census caravan this Friday, September 18th at 5 p.m. Decorate your car and follow us as we caravan around your town. Best decorated car wins $50. Completing your census 2020 is key for better roads, better schools, better hospitals, and better public services. Let's make Imperial Valley count. We are celebrating birthdays today. Happy birthday, Claudia Padilla, Cristobal Valencia, Joseph Valadez, Corey Northam, Everardo Figueroa, Lydia Maccabee, Krista Mastron, Dr. Vishwa Kapoor, Evangelina Sepulveda, Christina Wilkinson, Eliana Flores, Eva Morales, Maria Sepulveda, John Brian Clark, Maria Escalante, Carolyn Gonzalez, Mary Williams, and Chayito Lomalai. Happy birthday from KXO. Okay. Yeah, and have a good weekend. Uh, by the way, tomorrow, tomorrow, arr, it's talked like a pirate day. Okay. I got to be a day sometime to talk like a pirate. A vast matey, you know. How about some more rum? Okay. I think that's, I got my practice out of the way. I, you know anybody that's uh, renting parrots? Because if you're going to look like a real pirate, you've got to have a parrot sitting on your shoulder, right? Yeah, I, you know, I don't know if a... Uh... Parrots, uh, I know, are, can be trained to do tricks, but I don't know whether they can be trained, you let them go, and they come back. I don't I know. don't know. Never don't had a know. pet bird. Yeah. Uh, my, my brother has uh, a macaw. And they macaw? live as macaw? long as their owners do, if not longer. And uh, they're, they're smart, but they're noisy, they're messy. And... <laughs> kind of like kids. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if we should compare our kids to a macaw, but... Well, you said they're smart, noisy, and messy, okay? Yes, sir -ree. They okay. are, but I, I don't think you could let one go and it would come back. I don't think you can train it. Well, there are, um, on occasion, I see uh, parakeets at the bird feeder in my backyard. Mm-hmm. And uh, I know in San Diego there are flocks of parrots. Yeah, they've been, uh, yes, I've heard that. Too. Domesticated parrots that escaped or were set free. And uh, they're adapting quite well. Yeah. Yeah, well, they, they would say, oh, I, I don't want to hear that, that they were set free. They got away from their own. Yes. Otherwise, you would probably be up for some kind of crime in California. No doubt. Okay, are you ready for news? We've got news coming up, uh, COVID numbers, uh, brush fire up in the north end. And don't go swimming in the New River today. Boy, howdy, do not. Okay. okay, it's a look at World in California news headlines right now, and it is all brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. They are your year-round comfort specialists.
CBS News Brief. The Trump administration has banned WeChat and TikTok. Starting Sunday, you won't be able to download the apps. CNET's Ian Schur. This is the first time that we've known of an app being banned from U.S. app stores because of national security concerns. The Trump administration accuses the Chinese-owned apps of stealing the personal data of Americans. A tragic end to the search for a missing firefighter in California. His body was found in the San Bernardino National Forest. Another wildfire northeast of Los Angeles has sparked new evacuations. I hope my neighbors all get out and they're all safe. We just gotta hope and pray, you know. Four Smithsonian museums reopened today in Washington. Correspondent Chip Reed. Video exhibits and touch screens will be turned off and the lobby is now equipped with plexiglass and hand sanitizer. We're really trying to make sure this, the public is safe, but also our staff is safe. They've been closed for six months. CBS News Brief. I'm Cammie McCormick. Whatever the weather brings this summer, you can rely on a York Affinity premium system to keep your home cool and comfortable. You'll get maximum efficiency thanks to advanced technology and helping to significantly reduce your energy bill. Plus, you can stay connected via our Wi-Fi enabled touchscreen thermostat. Yeah, every York unit is designed, engineered, and assembled in the United States and backed by industry-leading warranties and affordable financing options are available. Call Lock Air Conditioning, your local Local York dealer, 760-353-4501. That's 353-4501 to schedule a free evaluation of your system. Contractor's license 696 The Forest Service officials confirming the death of a firefighter who'd been battling the El Dorado Fire in the San Bernardino National Forest. He'd been reported missing last night. The El Dorado Fire, one started by a pyrotechnic used during a gender reveal party. Fires in the state seem to be getting more intense every year. A UC Davis study showing the heat is making it worse. We found that in the dry and hot period, the fire can be really severe. And it's kind of coincident with the recent uh, fire uh, events we have in California. Researcher Yuhan Wang, in Los Angeles County, some key city and county officials want Sheriff Alex Villanueva to resign. I gave him a shot uh, from the beginning. Uh, and he has blown it consistently. Just blown it. County Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas complaints including Villanueva's rehiring of a deputy fired for domestic violence and conflicts over transparency and budgeting. 92 in Los Angeles today, 108 in Palm Springs, 82 in Sacramento. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. For all your air conditioning and sheet metal needs, you call the pros, you call the best, you call Lock Air Conditioning. This is the Frost family. They live on a piece of land they call greener pasture. And they work on it behind the wheel of a John Deere 1 Series tractor. With its durable construction and features that hook up to dozens of attachments with ease, no job is too tough. The Frells family runs with us. Because this is more than just land. It's home. Nothing runs like a deer. Get a 1 Series tractor for just $99 per month at your John Deere dealer today. For additional cost information, please call toll-free 855-633-2315. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. O'Reilly Auto Parts has what you need to keep your engine performing at its best. Our professional parts people will help you select just the right products for your car and budget, like five parts of Castrol GTX conventional or high mileage motor oil and a microguard filter, just $28.99, plus earn double O rewards points. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. It's page one of the local news, page one, a service of Quick Lane, Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and Del Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Taking a look at the latest in local news for a Friday morning, Imperial County continues to move in the right direction when it comes to the COVID-19 uh, numbers. The new COVID-19 positive cases per day per 100,000 population is 8.94 percent, slightly lower than the day before. The positivity uh, rate of individuals tested is now at 4.37 percent, nearly identical to Wednesday's numbers. One more death was recorded, uh, bringing the total to 310. The number of active COVID-19 cases is 339, just one more than the day before. In other local news, the first round of Home Key Awards is underway. Here's more on that story. 
They were announced by Governor Gavin Newsom. Nearly $76.5 million is being awarded to seven local jurisdictions for 10 projects. All projects will benefit the homeless. City of El Centro will receive or has been awarded $3,024,114 to build tiny home duplexes in collaboration with the Imperial Valley College and Imperial Valley College Foundation. Duplexes will house 26 homeless students who identify as former foster youth. IBC President Dr. Martha Garcia says the tiny home community will primarily house homeless youth who are pursuing higher education at IBC because they believe that through education, their lives will change. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. KXO News Time, 743. It's Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with two locations in the valley on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less in El Centro and in the Brawley Auto Plaza, Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Quick Lane services all makes and all models and you never need an appointment. They're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. till 6 p.m., Saturdays, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. And Quick Lane has the best prices on name brand tires, guaranteed. Just ask your Quick Lane advisor for details. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and Del Centro. Mexicali has announced that they are now allowing over 4,000 cubic meters of untreated raw sewage to flow into the new river. According to the city of Mexicali, they are bypassing the treatment plant so they can do rehabilitation work on pumping plant number two. The raw sewage release is scheduled uh, from 6.30 a.m. Uh, this morning to about uh, 10.30 a.m. The Imperial County Public Health Department says you should avoid swimming in the New River and avoid handling, collecting, or eating fish. Well, the third annual event... Uh, known as Power Up is coming again. Here's more in the story. It is Power Up Women's Business Empowerment Event. It'll be held from 10 a.m. to 12 noon, September 29th. There'll be a twist, however. It will be a virtual event and will include special new features. This year, San Diego State University Imperial Valley Campus is partnering with Rollins Creative LLC to create an experience that lives up to its title. Finding Creativity, Inspiration, and Motivation During a Pandemic. The event will feature two outstanding speakers, author Gina La Roche and Christina Alfaro, a Ph.D. at San Diego State University. A general registration fee is $10. SDSU Imperial Valley students, faculty, and staff can register for the event at no cost. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. That concludes this edition of Local News. Stay with us for page two. Page one of the Local News, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and Del Centro. Quick Lane, they've got the best price on name brand tires, guaranteed. Talk to a Quick Lane service advisor for details. I'm Luis Olmedo, Director of Comité Cívico del Valle. When communities come together to complete the 2020 census, anything is possible. Better schools, better fire stations, better emergency services. Your information affects housing, education, health care, and public policy. Count everyone in your home, including your children. Complete your 2020 census online, by phone, or by mail. Go to my2020census.gov or call 844-330-2020. Make Imperial Valley count. And it's page two of the local news with in-depth weather. Brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, or retirement planning. A brush fire yesterday in the north end of the valley. Carol Buckley has an update on that. Well, the River Bottom Fire near Brawley, north of the cemetery, was reported at about 11 a.m. It turned into a four-alarm blaze. All valley departments responded. No structures were damaged. A homeless encampment in the area was uh, protected by firefighters. A bridge in the area was threatened, but crews able to keep the fire away from the bridge as well. Uh, according to reports from Imperial County Fire, about 80 acres were burned and it was reported under control by late last evening. No injuries reported. In other local news, the 2020 uh, Carmen Dorazo Cultural Arts uh, Center Fall Program is uh, underway. 
Here's more in the story. It was announced by the Clexico Recreation Department. They are currently taking registrations. Program runs from September 28th through October 28th for a total of five weeks free of charge. A Clexico Arts Council is funding the first round of fall programming. To see what the program has to offer and other details, email recreation at clexico.ca.gov. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. The city of Imperial has issued a traffic advisory to start this coming Monday. According to the city, Aiton Road will be closed to eastbound traffic between Highway 86 and Marshall Road starting at 5 a.m. this coming Monday. The closure includes eastbound uh, turn lanes from Highway 86 on to Aiton Road. The closure is necessary to accommodate infrastructure repairs in the area. The repairs are expected to take two to three weeks. Drivers are advised to take alternate routes during the closure. And they're cleaning up in the north end of the valley this Saturday. Here's more on that story. They kind of disappeared during the pandemic, but now they're back. First will be in Calipatria. Kai VRMA will be participating in the 2020 City of Calipatria cleanup on Saturday, tomorrow, September 19th, from 8 a.m. until 12 noon at the Public Works Yard, 425 South Sorensen. There will be free collection of passenger and light truck tires, and rims will also be accepted. No tires from tire businesses. There will also, they'll accept computers, uh, monitors, and TVs. Must show proof of residency, either a utility bill or a driver's license. For more information, go to IVRMA.org. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. And we'll be back with a look at the weather. David H. West Insurance has been helping residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs. David, Jose, and staff are trained professionals who can help you make the right decision with your insurance coverage from health, Medicare, and most importantly, a life insurance plan. How much life insurance do you need and what's your monthly cost? We'll call David H. West Insurance today to make an appointment and get a free quote on a life insurance plan that's right for you and your family at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411. Here's Carol Buckley with a weather update. The National Weather Service says a cooling trend begins today, lowering highs below 105 across the Imperial and Yuma Valleys into the weekend. A weak disturbance moving through the area early next week will be on the dry side. High temperatures will continue to fall off early next week with the southwestern deserts approaching 100 degrees Monday into Tuesday. 111 our high yesterday, 74 the low. Sunny today with a high near 109, light and variable wind becoming southeast 5 to 10 miles an hour this afternoon. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 77. South wind 5 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Saturday sunny with a high near 107. Light and variable wind becoming west 5 to 10 miles an hour in the afternoon. It'll be sunny on Sunday with a high near 105. Southwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. And right now, Dan 10, 76 degrees, 31% relative humidity, wind out of the south-southwest, 3 to 5 miles an hour. Page 2 of the local news and the weather brought to you this morning by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for Medicare supplemental coverage or health insurance plans. David H. West Insurance Services. Let's talk about it. Bringing community mental health issues to your radio. Listen each Sunday morning to KXO AM 1230 at 7 a.m. And now on Sunday evening at 7 p.m. on FM 107.5. Or log on to KXORadio.com for a five-minute podcast highlight of the show or the show in its entirety. This program is produced by the Public Affairs Department of KXO AM 1230 and FM 107.5. Let's Talk About It is presented as a public service of Imperial County Behavioral Health Services. It's sports time. What's going on? Well, in uh, the NBA bubble, the Heat beat the Celtics 106-101. Uh, Miami leads the East Finals series two games to none. Thursday night football, the Bengals and the Browns. It was the Browns holding on. 
They uh, beat the Bengals 35 30. Coming up on uh, Sunday evening, it's the Patriots and the Seahawks on AM 1230. Then on FM 107.5, it's Monday Night Football, the Raiders and the New Orleans Saints. And again, uh, that's on FM 107.5, home of the Raiders. It's back, it's bigger, and it's better. The Labor Day Sellathon is back at your San Diego County Ford dealers. Get 0% APR for 72 months on the 2020 Ford Fusion, Ford Escape, Ford Edge, Ford Explorer, and Ford F-150. And the deals are even bigger across the entire lineup of Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. Not all buyers will qualify for Ford Credit Financing. 0% APR for 72 at $13.89 per month for $1,000 finance regardless of down payment. Residency restrictions apply. Offer ends September 8, 2020. See dealer for qualifications and complete details. Your San Diego County Ford dealers understand all financial situations and will get you a great deal. So don't miss the last chance to save big this summer. Visit BuyFordNow.com to see the best deals of the season. The Ford Labor Day Sellathon is back. It's bigger and it's better, but it doesn't last long. So come into your San Diego County Ford dealers today. Major League Baseball action. The Red Sox ripped the Marlins 5-3. White Sox nudged the Twins 4-3. Angels over the Diamondbacks 7-3. Giants topped the Mariners 6-4. Rays in a twin bill in the opener. The Rays 3, the Orioles 1. And in the nightcap, the Rays beat the Orioles 10-6. Meanwhile, the Yankees continued to uh, hit home runs. They bombed the Blue Jays 10-7. Mets over the Phillies 10-6. Pirates beat the Cardinals 5-1. Indians topped the Tigers 10-3. Astros edged the Rangers 2-1. And the Dodgers continue to win. They beat the Rockies 9-3. And uh, Justin Thomas takes a one-shot U.S. Open lead. At easier than usual, winged foot, the U.S. Open underway. And we will have reports throughout the day, throughout the weekend, on the U.S. Open right here on AM 1230 KXO. Thank you for choosing Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. In today's highly competitive business climate, your company's image is important. The printed materials your company uses conveys a major part of that image. Our graphic designers have the talent and expertise to create a lasting impression for your business. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers virtually any type of business solution to meet your needs. From business cards and stationery to computer forms, full-color brochures, and posters. Let our excellent service and attention to detail provide the best impression for you. Locally owned and operated, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Imperial Valley's Roto-Rooter. When drains don't work, they do. Stocks open mixed as traders braced for additional volatility in a week that's already been bumpy. The Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, off 22 points to start. The S&P 500 was little changed. And the NASDAQ about uh, 59 points higher on early trading. Friday marks quadruple witching, which refers to the day when various types of financial asset options expire, traditionally leading to intraday volatility. Shares of United States Steel Corporation dipped despite reporting better-than-expected earnings. Meanwhile, Tesla Incorporated stock underperformed yesterday when compared to competitors. What else is uh, going on? Well, pretty much we're just going to have to uh, wait and see what, uh, well, what the gnomes in Zurich and... uh, the uh, the financial uh, geniuses around the world are looking at. Meanwhile, the U.S. will ban the use of Chinese app WeChat starting Sunday. 
citing national security concerns. Downloads of the app TikTok, owned by the same company, will be banned at the same time. And use of that platform will be banned in the U.S. by November 12th. But Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross said early today on Fox Business News that access to that app may be possible if certain safeguards are in place. Rotorooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialists. Rotorooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Rotorooter is a locally owned family business with 53 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789. That's 352-6789 or 344-2533 in the North End. Rotorooter, when drains don't work, we do. It will be sunny today with a high near 109, light and variable wind turning out of the southeast 5 to 10 miles an hour this afternoon. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 77. South wind 5 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Saturday, sunny with a high near 107, light and variable wind becoming west 5 to 10 miles an hour in the afternoon. 76 degrees, 31% relative humidity. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Roto Rooter in El Centro and Raleigh. When drains don't work, they do. High school football returns to KXO. We will have classic high school football games every Friday night on AM 1230 and on the KXO YouTube channel. Our broadcast features some of the very best games from the KXO archives. Classic high school football. Let's play some football! Is brought to you by Ubaldo Bermudas, your local law state agent. You're in good hands. Baja Farms in Holtville, supporting our communities. The UPS Store on North Imperial Avenue in El Centro. It's Central, Holtville, tonight, 7 o'clock. Don't you miss it. The best oldies on the radio. KXO, El Centro. The Imperial Valley's local news source. News on the hour, presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Peter King in Orlando. President Trump has said two apps from China are national security risks. Starting Sunday, you won't be able to download TikTok or WeChat anymore. With total TikTok banned starting November 12th. Connor Ferry is a 23-year-old TikTok user in Washington. Young people in the U.S. are going to be very upset um, with a TikTok ban. And it's something that they've gotten used to, especially during COVID-19 lockdown since March. People are going to miss it. CBS News political analyst Leonard Steinhorn says the ban could help the president's re-election bid. If he can persuade voters that he knows how to stand up to China and stand up for Americans, he thinks that will resonate with the same voters who gravitated to him on trade issues four years ago. People on the West Coast are hoping for rain soon to help put out wildfires in three states, but there's a danger if and when the rainy season starts. Mudslides in places like California's Santa Cruz Mountains. Cal Fire's Ian Larkin. It's going to do what it's going to do, and there's not a whole lot we're going to do to stop it from happening, uh, but other than just uh, protecting life uh, is the number one priority. The U.S. Forest Service says a firefighter has died while battling the flames near San Bernardino. Worldwide Wide coronavirus case totals have passed the 30 million mark. Here's CBS's Elaine Cobb. As the numbers of new cases rise sharply worldwide, the death toll now stands at more than 940,000. The worst hit nations are the U.S., India and Brazil. But there's a renewed spike in infections across Europe, where the number of weekly recorded cases in the region has topped 300,000. Johns Hopkins University total show nearly 6.7 million cases in the U.S., nearly 200,000 deaths. Four Smithsonian museums have just reopened after a six-month pandemic shutdown. Here's CBS's Chip Reed. Where crowds used to gather outside the National Museum of African American History and Culture, staff members are now preparing for a new reality. Of course you have to wear a mask. Museum acting director Spencer Crew says for the first couple of weeks there will be just 250 tickets issued each day, compared to over 4,000 before the pandemic. Video exhibits and touch screens will be turned off and the lobby is now equipped with plexiglass and hand sanitizer. We're really trying to make sure this, the public is safe but also our staff is safe. Tom Hanks helped make this guy one of Hollywood's most memorable characters. My name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump was a novel eight years before the movie came out. 
And now it's author Winston Groom has died in Fairhope, Alabama. He once said Gump's success made him as happy as a pig in sunshine. Groom was 77. The Dow is down 63. This is CBS News. Brought to you by Capital One. Capital One's banking app lets you manage your money anytime, anywhere. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One N.A. Listening to this Allstate commercial about savings might be the hardest thing about getting those savings. Save for simply becoming an Allstate customer. Save more for adding DriveWise. And save even more for driving safely. Visit Allstate.com or contact your local agent for a quote today. Allstate. Minimum effort, maximum reward. Not available in every state. New customer savings based on early signing discount. Drive is an optional feature. Savings vary based on how you buy. Subject to terms and conditions. All state fire and casualty insurance company and affiliates. Northbrook, Illinois. Have you been back to Burlington lately? Your store is now restocked. So hurry in for more unbelievable deals on amazing brands and styles at up to 60% off other retailers' prices every day. Stop back in to see the fabulous values you've come to love with more arriving all the time. Whether it's back to school, work, or just back, head back into your Burlington today and start getting more value for less again. Burlington, love the deals. What would appear to be idle time hasn't been for one country music star. Here's CBS's Wendy Gillette. The pandemic canceled Keith Urban's touring schedule, but it got him writing songs again. His new album, The Speed of Now, Part 1, drops today. The song, One Too Many, features Pink. This is Urban's 11th studio album. He says his wife, actress Nicole Kidman, has helped him better express his feelings. The singer is nominated for three CMA awards in November, including Entertainer of the Year. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. Twisted Sister lead singer Dee Snyder uses the word moronic to describe South Florida anti-maskers who ripped off their masks inside a Target store while blasting the group's song, We're Not Gonna Take It. The video was posted by an angry customer. The people identified in it were all fined 100 bucks. Peter King, CBS News. Balance of nature's fruits and vegetables in a capsule. Changing the world one life at a time. I work in healthcare, and I haven't gotten even a runny nose. I'm pretty convinced that this is something to do with it. And you know what? I will never be without it. It's amazing. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Balance of Nature is now offering 35% off on any new preferred order. Go to balanceofnature.com today and use discount code FRUITS. If you're tired of paying for cable news, tune into Newsmax TV right now for free. Get real news with shows from Mike Huckabee, Greg Kelly, Michelle Malkin, Diamond and Silk, Alan Dershowitz, and more. Newsmax is on all major cable systems. Or get it free on Roku, Zumo, YouTube, Pluto, Apple TV, Chromecast, Amazon Fire, or your smart TV. So save money and watch Newsmax TV. Or download the free app from your smartphone and start watching right now. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. I have no words for it. I'm kind of shocked right now, actually. With Carol Buckley. Not that I like it, but I do. AM 1230 KXO. 1230 KXO. 